here is the trailer that I got from the boy netter and basically this tongue isn't too bad my latch is all good um, that's still working so I could probably keep this change are good that's good this needs to be replaced 15 3 8 so I'll need a tongue jack make it a new winch that's fine need new lights that roller is fine I need lights so I need four of these these fenders are okay I could probably leave these I'm gonna go ahead and try these tires out see where they go that just needs to be tightened up here Same thing over here, I just need to tighten this up. That fender's fine. Looking at the axle down there, these leaf springs, they are rusty, but I think they'll be all right. They're not, they're not atrocious. I've seen way worse than those. So we're gonna go ahead and leave those on the axle. I won't replace the axle. I'm not gonna replace these tires, I mean, well, these tires are a little sketchy, so I might do some tires. Let's see what see what we got here. I need these lights. This piece here. I'm not gonna replace that, but I am gonna change these. So I need these bunk brackets. And ones that are on here are basically eight inch. So I'm 8 inch bunk bracket now these tires if I want to change these tires out let me see what are we looking at here 4.8 by 12 5 I mean these aren't that bad they got a good amount of tread on them they're starting to wear on the inside but I mean I'm only going I'm not going but maybe 500 feet to the ramp so I'll probably run these for a little while the leaf springs aren't looking too bad either so I'm gonna leave the leaf springs I'm gonna leave the tires buddy bearings I can pull those off clean them Okay, we've got our trailer pulled up here. We've got her sitting out here so I can kind of see what's going on. First thing we need to do is get all these old bunks and everything off of here. Just to kind of see what we got going on. Get rid of all this wood. I'm gonna replace both of those on all four of them. We're going to put a new winch on here. I'm actually gonna leave these loose until I get the boat on there so I know where to put that. But we're gonna put a new trailer trailer winch, or not a trailer winch, but a, a jack, a new trailer jack, new trailer winch, new bunk brackets. I need to just kind of secure these fenders a little bit, but tires are good, axles looking good. Leaf springs are a little rusty, but they're not bad. I need to get these old lights off of here, bend our brackets back. Once I get both of these brackets bent back where they need to be, we can put our new lights on there. I'll get rid of that and leave the piece on there in case I want to put another bar on there later so I'm missing one u-bolt there but other than that pretty good shape we'll clean tighten that up so that way that thing's sitting the way it needs to sit 
I think what we're going to start with first is probably change out our ton jack, get all this junk off of here, and straighten these light brackets back. Just get everything off the trailer first. Okay, we've got pretty much all of the old junk off of the trailer. All our bunk brackets are off, our winch is off, our trailer jack is off, all that stuff's off. So now we can go ahead and begin to put all of our new stuff on. I'm still gonna bend those for the lights, but that is an easy thing. Here we've got our uh, trailer winch and our trailer jack. Got all of our U-bolts and the bunk brackets here's our bunk brackets so what we can do now is I think we'll start by putting these on or I might do the trailer jack I'm not sure eh, I could do the winch here's all of our lights lights here for the trailer boom whole light kit but I think I want to start with I think might as well start in the front your trailer jack winch brackets boom we'll be done with the whole project I uh, minus lights but Let's go ahead and put our trailer jack on first.
we've got our winch on there i haven't got this tightened up because i want to wait to put the boat on there before tightening it up but we got our tongue jack on we got our winch on there this is all looking good i already greased all this stuff up pretty heavily some might say excessively but um that stuff gets wet it's better just to over grease it than not have enough grease on there so now what we need to do is go ahead and clean these spots up we'll put our brackets on there once we get our bunk brackets on there we'll need to go get the wood for the bunks as well as the carpet and we will straighten these lights out and get this trailer wired up i don't know there we go wires coming in here went up to the front coming out the front up here looks like it's been pulled in through there so we'll have to push it back out to get our wire through there but moving right along with our nice little trailer those lights will need to be replaced but we're moving along This is by far probably the most dangerous tool, but man, does it work when you need to get stuff like that off. As opposed to trying to break all that light and mess with all those to try and get those nuts off when they spin like that in that plastic. Boom, just real quick, hit it with the grinder, cut off wheel, and you can pull those bolts off or anything off real quick. Very nice, super dangerous. like we're doing good now i got the bunk brackets on there got our lights off all that's cleaned up i'm looking over here got our fenders straightened up and tight um i need to squirt some grease in the buddy bearings this one over here i noticed that i'm missing a couple of lug nuts but that's an easy fix i just got to go by Publix and get one from every other car and we'll be good to go with our lug nut situation i'm just kidding don't do that but need to pull all this wiring out of here for the lights and put the lights on there i do actually i think what we're gonna do we need to go and get bunks for our or four by fours for our bunks i think i am gonna do the four by fours i don't think i'm gonna put regular bunks on there i kind of like the four by four idea opposed to Doing the two by sixes, eh, I don't know, I'll make an executive decision when I get to the hardware store. If there's any kind of slope, you want the slope to be up. They call that the crown. So I'm gonna put the crown up on this. Same thing for that one. So that way the weight will push down on the bow and the board. We're also gonna shave these edges down here, smooth those over, and then we're gonna put carpet on them and then put the lights on here.
the grounds on a trailer are the worst so you got to make sure that you clean things up like that you need something like this so that way you can really clean it up and polish it so that way you get a good ground between your light and the trailer because the trailer is your ground I need to measure from the middle of the boat to the outside where I'm going to put the bunks just so I can straighten these out and get them right where they were. This is where I put them where they were, but that's not really right. I need to measure out and get them straightened out because I think this was for something else. So that's what I'm going to do right now is measure from the middle and then I'm going to measure out to where I want the bunk to sit and I want the bunk to sit right out this from this side straight down the middle there. I mean, 